to what a horse and you've even brought a guest today yeah mm -hmm. what do you want a fan base is that fan what you're base, after that's what i'm looking for a fan base that's what i I'm hope you're going to get more than one <laughs> you got to start off somewhere <laughs> hey, hey we, we're going to take one and then and then we're going to build for it now this, this, right. this tell them the lady's name that's in here with Julie. us today. all right she's from uh, california right yes and she's in here today just uh so somebody support. will applaud you. Support. Support. Right. Support. 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 Well, show her how well you do what you do. We'll be right back after these messages. Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And KD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. Two-time world champion and world grand champion Joe Hall is now standing at stud during the 2023 breeding season at Precious Memory Farm for $750. Contact Daniel Miller, 931-703-5830 or Shane Porterfield, 615-809-4257. Joe Hall is now standing at stud at Precious Memory Farm. Hi, I'm Smokey Bear, and I made an assistant to help you out, because only you can prevent wildfires. Hey, Assistant Smokey Bear, call me Papa Bear, because I'm grilling up dinner. <laughs> do you get it? Yes, good job. So, what should I do with all these coals? Don't just toss them out. Put them in a metal container, because those embers can start a wildfire. I understand. The stakes are high. Ha, 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 ha. See, Smokey thinks I'm funny. Perfection Leather, a division of the Winter Circle. Our high quality products are handcrafted at our manufacturing facility in Shelbyville, Tennessee, using the very finest Wicked and Craig bridle and harness leather. All hides are thoroughly inspected to ensure consistent thickness and a smooth finish. They are also examined for any imperfections that would reduce the quality of our products. After inspection of the hides, each piece is hand cut or die cut to the product's precise specifications. Each component is then assembled by an experienced craftsman. The assembled product is then stitched by an experienced operator using state-of-the-art lock stitch machinery. The stitched product is then finished and hand polished to their completion. After completion, each product is carefully inspected for quality assurance. All of Perfection Leather products are available at the Winter Circle Horse Supply. The Tennessee Walking Horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. 
If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or an obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee Walking Horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's a competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect family horse by young and old. Whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee Walking Horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you're on one tomorrow. That's a fact. I've got some announcements to make, but before I do, I do want everybody to keep the Nipper family in your prayers because we've lost Joel. Seems like we're losing a lot of the good ones now. Yes, he and is Joel right. is uh, a good Joel, guy. He's a really good guy. Oh, he's a. They once said that once you say, he's, well, he was a good man. What can you add to it? But yeah. Joel, when you deal with Joel, I mean, he was so much more. Mm -hmm. Always had a smile on his face and a, a good word for yeah. everybody. All right. East Tennessee Spring Fling is 21st and 22nd. Bill Daltrey is the contact person at 423-836-3607. The judge is Cindy Bryant. Amber Zan and Gary Wayne Smith showtime is 6 p.m. each night. And then you have the Rack and Horse Spring Celebration. That's going to be in Shelbyville, Tennessee yes. at the Cooper Still Arena. Uh, you can call 256-353-7225 for information. Start time is Thursday at 6 p.m. And they got Friday at 10 p.m., but I think that's supposed to be 10 in the morning a.m. Yeah. And then you got 6 p.m. Saturday night. Uh, judges are Nathan Clark, Danny Music, and Curtis Thompson with alternate alternates, Dale Watts and Beth Harmon. Spring extravaganza. That's going to be a big one out at the Ag Center. Uh, Carol Misseldine, 919-437-6597. Start time is 4 p.m. The judge is Scott Beatty. One thing to remember. They're going to have spotted shows at the, at the extravaganza, but they have to be registered with a spotted horse. They have to be registered. Then you got Upper Cumberland Walking Horse Show is April 29th. Hyderberg's Agricultural Pavilion in Cookville. Call Jimmy Sherrill at 615-464-5047. Start time is 5 p.m. And the judge is none other than... That Kentucky man in blue, Sam Clark. Yeah, that'll be a busy weekend around here. It's gonna be horses everywhere. everywhere. You got racking sure. horse, you got everything. I'm, yep. I'm gonna have to go up that racking horse some, because we got, uh, we got a lot of racking horse people that, that go, both, both ways. ways. Yeah, and mm -hmm. that's a good thing. You know, this past weekend we're gonna show a lot of video, Jerry. But this past weekend there was 400, and I believe it was. It took 400, 300, over 300 horses. Anyway, it was a 99% compliance rate with the government there. Yes. That tells me that everybody was on the same page. Yeah. And uh, It was a good show this past weekend. It, it was. Good. I enjoyed it when they say we got 14 horses entered and 14 answered the bail. Yeah. That says a lot. It says that the trainers are doing their job. And the DQPs are doing their job, and uh, the government's doing, doing their, their job. job. Yeah, everybody's yeah. kind of getting along with each other. Well, I know I'd, I'd look out there, and it was, I kept walking back and forth up there, I was trying to figure out what was going on, but everything, they took a lot of x rays, which which I can agree with. You, you, when you x ray a horse, it well, it's just like we did, sir. I thought something was wrong, I didn't know what it was, but when they x rayed him, bone and everything's fine turns out to be some kind of a fungus or something yeah. mm -hmm. so it, it's it's a good thing but yeah. what your your trainer yeah so how did you feel about this weekend i thought this weekend was great it was, it was a lot better it was good everybody like they got along the, the atmosphere of the showing was real good you know everybody kind of seemed happy 
you know, wasn't sad and mad and everything else, you know. So, I mean, it just, I thought they had a real good weekend. I, did. I, thought, I thought everything well, was on was on point. I was talking to different people, and I'm going to tell you what I enjoyed about it more. I mean, not that I enjoyed it more than horses, because watching full classes with some good-looking horses, yes. and we was talking about the ones. I, I've seen four that wasn't, there wasn't anything wrong with them. It's just that they were way in over their head yes, in the uh -huh. competition. Uh -huh. And uh, I seen one that I thought, you know, a month or two from now, he's going to be pretty good. But right now, he's in there with some that are way in uh -huh. front of him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and he's going to have to play some catch up. But I never heard one negative comment about anything that was going on. Yes. And that's, I mean, when, when you're in an industry like we're in, there's a, there's normally a whole lot of complaining. Yeah. And but there, I never heard one negative comment. I do know uh, we're running a victory pass on a horse today that the owner told me. He said when they said fourteen, he said I said oh lord, <laughs> and, but then he won it. So he said now it's good. Yeah. <laughs> so, and that that's always when you look up and you got all those horses. Yes. And I I did notice that uh, the judges, if you look at the judges card. There wasn't a, a tremendous amount of unanimous. Yes, no, it wasn't. And that's because there's a bunch of, I mean, it's, you get slapped up there and you look up and there's 12, 13, 14 horses in a class and you're not used to it. Hey, that makes a difference. Oh, yeah, it, it makes a big difference. It makes a big difference. Then, if Jeremy was judging that, you'd be all over him because <laughs> he'd be saying, I like that and I like that. That's the way it goes. But all in all, I, I thought the weekend was just, Exceptional. I did too. The, the, the judging, you couldn't really point out anything on the judging because they each one of them like different horse most of the time, and that's when you have to do the. You know, that's all I ask for. If you judge a show or whatever, just judge the horse that you like, regardless. That's it. You know, that's the biggest thing. And and there was a lot. There's a lot of classes where there was three different first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then they had to start. That's when it gets really gets tough. Yeah. You have to go down through there. Now, Charles Tisher can look at it and turn around and tell you, but that computer has to yeah. figure it out. I mean, it, it takes that computer a while. But all in all, I thought I thought the, the show, uh, the way everybody was, was happy with it, and it, it's just good. I will say this. We're going to show video of this class. The adults did not want any part of that youth pony class. Yes. I mean, that youth pony class was... Tough, buddy. I mean, all four horses. Those top three was really tough. That little little Harney. Now he he was he was having he, he was oh, having I himself love time them out juvenile there. class and kids the class with them kids showing in. I really like to watch them kids showing them horses and well, getting along with them. Little Beasley girl. And, yes. And then Eli. I mean, they, these were some outstanding horses. So there was. I heard one guy say. Adults don't want in that class. They they, they don't much want in the eleven and under. Yeah. So it it makes a big difference. But I tell you what, we're going to jump ahead because we got a lot to talk about. But I do want to put a video out there of this is an offspring of Hero, and we misspelled Hero. That's why we couldn't find no paperwork on yeah. it mm -hmm. because it's H E R R O. Yeah. And then, then we found everything. I mean, it, it all started coming up. But now this, this horse is by, well, he's a full brother to I Am Jose, three-time world grand champion. And he's having some offsprings that are just unbelievable. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I talked to his owner up there the other night. He said he was tickled with it. But Joe Fleming has a filly. Yes, it's real nice. By that, by that stud. Mm -hmm. But now he's got her, her, she's on flat shot. Yeah. Yeah, she's flat shot. But if you got a horse that can go both ways, I mean, and especially in the breeding division, because these flat shot horses, they're getting to work. They're pretty expensive, too. And she colored up, too. So, I mean, you want to make, later on, you want to make a brew mare out of her or something like that, you know, color sales. You know, oh, yeah. Flash. And some people like really flashy color horses and stuff like that, you know. I seen one. It was in a park class. There's only three in the class. But this horse come in, and, and I thought the horse was outstanding myself. I, I, evidently, 
the judges didn't like him, but I really did. I mm -hmm. thought he had a good walk, but he was lit up. He, he just a beautiful horse. Yes. Everybody's talking about how pretty he was. I was looking at how he was walking because mm -hmm. he, he really put on a good show, I thought. But now he would be one that you, he, he'd go to a spotted horse show yeah. and, and fit right in. They wouldn't think anything about it. But Philip, if you don't mind, let's go ahead and show the video of the hero offspring. Right here he is. Max and Foley. Here he is. Now this is the offspring. Now Hero is standing at stud at Jerry Williams' stable. Yes. Now I'm gonna tell you that's a that's a real nice horse. That horse had an injury happen to him in the stall when he was young. Um, but now I tell you, got all got a lot of talent. That Hero horse does. Tell you what, you can ask much yeah. enough better. No, I, now you really can't. And and I understand from watching this video right here. A lot of people been calling, wanting to breed to, breed to him. I had a lot of calls and stuff like that, and and that horse is, and the horse is, is a little bigger than I am. I mean, he's he's a little taller, but I mean, he's not he's a nice horse. Well, he when you look at him in the stall, he's he, he's good size, but he's pretty. Yeah, he's real pretty, and that that's what I really noticed about him was just he just his confirmation and yes. everything. Mm -hmm. He's not high headed. Got a long, pretty neck. He's just a, a, he's a beautiful horse, real beautiful horse. Now let me see what else we can look at. Here, here's one. I've told a lot of people about this this horse because he's by honors, but you've got him walking. But that horse could go both ways. Someone yeah, took a hold do, of him. Yeah, this horse can do anything you really want him to do. Well, Jeremy was talking about him yeah. out there when he didn't have any uh, action of ice yeah. in what he looked like. But uh, that horse right there, the step he's got, I would say that if you took a good solid hold on him, well, he's yeah. got a steady head shake, but if you took a hold of him, you yeah. reduce that down. I want to say never been showed, but I mean, he's getting very, very close. We're going to try to show him, but I mean, that horse takes a good step. Now he's four year old and never been in the ring. Never been in the ring, yeah. We need a first time to show four year old. Made him last for the four yeah. year olds. They ain't gonna go for that. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 I believe he'll like, catch up pretty quick though. Well, Once we get him in the ring and get him used to everything, I think he'll catch up pretty well, quick. Well, he looked pretty good right yeah. there. I tell you, a lot of people uh, are talking about it, and I really wanna push this. We're having a show in Lynchburg, and we had to reschedule it for May 13th. But we've got different classes in there for kids. The main, the, the, the main thing is first time to show. Yeah. I am looking so forward to that that if we had to change it because we were going to go flat shot first way, padded second way, but there's a problem with the uh, rules and regulations yeah. on that, so we changed it. Now they're going to flat shot to go both ways had it go both ways and then the names of the, all the winners of all the classes that their youth classes are going to be put in a hat and we're going to draw out one winner that's going to get a five hundred dollar bills five of them and then that person will sit there and going to pull out names from everybody that shows in the youth division yes seven more that's going to get a hundred dollars a piece so, and you don't qualify, I done told them. And, and I'm, I'm working on it, I've been working on it. I know, I know you're gonna to try, to you're gonna try to slide in So there. I can try to get in and try to get my name in that head so I can pull it. I'm gonna make a deal with Colt. Okay. I'm gonna, say, I, that's, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna let you show my horse. What we gotta do is figure out a way for you to win the 500 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. It just, it's just the thought of some youth Getting the kids involved, and you know that's the biggest thing of any career, of any horses, or anything is the kids. You know, if you can get behind the kids and get them involved in it. I mean, it's that's a very good thing. Well, it's it's good for the kids, but it's good for the family. Yes. I mean, it, it's just like the lady that put on the the kid rodeo. Well, it was it was a rodeo, but they had kid competition, and they was running the barrels. And I mean, some of them, it took them 35, 36 seconds, but that wasn't it. They were three, four, five, and six-year-olds. Yeah. And when they was talking about this, the lady made one statement 
that stood out to me above all else. And she said this. She said, when our children misbehave, we don't take their iPads, we don't take their cell phones. We take their horse. And that does the trick. Yes. And can you imagine if Allie Joe got in trouble or Eli got in trouble and they took their horses? Yeah. We'd that's what mean a lot to them. Hey, we'd horses. have a revolutionary war going yeah, on. Because right. <laughs> kids won't tell them. Allie Joe's over there hauling hay. <laughs> she, I, told, I said, that girl will do anything just to ride on. Well, yeah. I mean, that's the way it goes. All right. Well, let's go to, uh, go ahead and look at our Smokies BPs. Because we still got a few of them. Right there is me and Pocahontas and Allison Armstrong. Her and Tyler Balcom, they're undefeated. In that class, yeah. They have a good show up there in Sevierville. Uh, that's a good place to have a horse show. Tell you what, Jimbo has done good putting that arena together. Yes. And the way he does this, I mean, it, and, and that's just it. You, you don't have to have a big coliseum like the Miller or Cooper Still Arena. Yeah. Here's Jen Shadda and Baron Witherspoon. The amateur stallion class. Baron likes and he likes them horses. He, hey. Well he's he's a big supporter of the youth yeah, too. He's he helping us a lot with uh, the show in Lynchburg for the kids. I won't make one other statement about the show in in Lynchburg. We had to change our date from the 8th of April till the 13th of May. Yeah. And because of conflicts, the 4-H could no longer serve the food yeah. and, and do the cafeteria. So I went out and I talked to a friend of yours, mm -hmm. Bailey Smokes. Yeah. And uh, I want everybody to know, Baylor Smokes will be doing the concession stand in Lynchburg, and 20% of it will go to the 4-H in Lynchburg, which I thought that was, uh, that's outstanding. Oh, yeah. I mean, it really is. He, uh, I told him, I said, man, that's 20%, that, that's, that's a lick. But he said he wanted to help the kids, and that, that's what it's all about. Oh, yeah. it's, it, this whole show is to support the youth yeah. and and i i really appreciate them saying they'd do that because running a concession stand is no easy job no. No, it's really not well i think you can go ahead and do what you do best we'll be right back after these messages <laughs> Tennessee walking horse, but I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida, and now for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls, and there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411, and see if I can save you money on your communications. What does Habitat for Humanity build? Hope. Opportunity. Joy and togetherness. Growth and transformation. Strength and stability. Community. Home. Hey everybody, I'm Garth Brooks. And I'm Trisha Yearwood. And nothing illustrates the beauty of what we can build together, like Habitat for Humanity. 
A safe, decent, affordable place to call home is a canvas full of possibility. In our work with Habitat, we've seen what's possible. Financial stability, peace of mind, room to grow and play, better health, brighter futures. In your community and around the world right now, neighbors are helping neighbors build masterpieces of their own. Visit Habitat.org to learn more and get involved today. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi night shows, sibling and progeny searches, rider cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. Okay. All right, we're going to go to uh, the past showcase. I'm on, my hat goes off to them. They put they put on a great show. Yes. I mean, absolutely great. The judging was good. Inspection, it, it just it just seemed like everybody just said, hey, we're, let's get on the right page. Hey, everybody, let's get and, along and we're gonna have a horse show. And I'm hoping it's the same fun. way this weekend and next weekend. And it would tickle me to go the whole year and it'd be just, just like this to where everybody's doing the job they're supposed yes. to do. And uh, it just, it, it'd be good because we got some great shows coming up. Oh yes. All right, we're going to go to the fast showcase, and I believe the first one out of the shoot is going to be the youth pony class. I believe, and I was right. And I'm here to tell you, this was a class. You did. There wasn't a slouch in there. The ultimate honor, and Jack Harney took the blue. I am big enough, and Maxine Beasley was reserved. The champ, a champ, in Eli Cunningham, the third, and I am Jose Jr. Col Colbin Parker finished out the ribbon. But now you're talking about, I mean, this was tough, buddy. Oh, yeah, it was a nice class. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at the little man there. There's Eli. Tell you what, these kids, just their horses are just outstanding. And they and these kids, they, they have no fear. They just ride. Yeah. They having fun. Well, you can tell the crowd getting into it, that's for sure. I think everybody was glued down watching oh, yeah. this class. These kids put on a show now. Look at there. Had some good horses in there. Hey, you couldn't. It was just good. One guy told me that he was surprised that that D would sell ultimate honor, but I'm gonna yeah. tell you, I'm I'm glad she did because that little man right there. Yeah. Hey, he. Flat put on a show. Oh yeah. Now he did. Mm -hmm. Tell you what, you can't beat that. No. I don't care what any of them say, you just cannot beat that. That is good all the way. 
And here is Maxine and I am big enough. I tell you what, she put on a heck of a show. Yep. All of these these kids, just all of them do a great job of showing. Here's your Ryder Cup three-year-old stallion. This was a tough class. Now this was Ryder Cup three-year-old, amateur three-year-old Marin Gildan. No, this is Stallions. Stallions? Yeah. I have got... It was a good class right here. Oh. I just haven't gone far enough down here. But you're right, it was. Yeah, it was, it was a good class. They had a lot of horses in there. They got tied down, didn't get a ribbon that oh, yeah. in the top. I mean, it's a real... Well, this is one had 14 horses in it, and the Mighty Gin took the blue. That's the one that Mike said when he looked up and there was 14 in there, he says, oh boy. A Mighty Gin, Sam Martin took the blue from Mike Floyd, Jura the Michael Wright for Travis Hale, Big Henry, Jeff Lachlan for Russell Enterprises, Sweet Black Gin, Ryan Blackburn, Limestone, Dan Waddell for Kim Lewis. I thought that horse was pretty, pretty yeah. snazzy. Charlie Time, Nick Plafkin, Jose Savannah Knight, R.M. Kellett, and Big John Coffey. Justin Harris. Now, you know who Big John Coffey is? Yeah. You do? Okay, just checking. Yeah. You watch the Green Mile, Green too, Mile. huh? Mm -hmm. I watch the Green Mile. <laughs> I tell you, it's, you know, it's one way of judging that horse when you sit in them stands. But now, when you out in the middle of that ring and all them horses going around and around by you, it's a lot different to it. Kind of, kind of, a little shocking, isn't it? It, it is a little shocking <laughs> when you're in the middle of that ring and you're watching the horses and you're trying to pick the best one that you think is out there. You can see a lot better out sitting out in the stands than you can in the middle of that ring right there. Well, you can see more. Yeah. When you're out there in the, in the center ring, you see that horse when he goes in front of you. Yeah. So, a lot of difference, and especially when you've got that many talented horses, horses in the class there. In one class, now that, it, it's rough. I did not envy the judges this weekend. No. You know, you had about five or six horses in that class could have went in. You could have tied uh, either way. Yep. I mean, it was a lot of talent. There was a lot of talent in that class. There he is, a mighty gin and Sam Martin for Mike Floyd. I really like it when it's like that because yeah. it just, I mean, it keeps the excitement, people screaming and yelling and a lot of baiting over who's the best. Yes, yeah. Right here is open specialty. You know, I thought Joe Paul put on a show. Yeah. Now I did, he, he was, to me, he was just, and I ain't knocking none of them in there. Tua took the blue with Knox Blackburn. Joe Pa and Winky Groover was reserve. Call my lawyer, Chad Way. Right, pride of Oopsie Doo, Blaze Picard. Special by Jose, John Allen Calloway. The Longmire, Drew Graves. And Dr. Joe Friday, or Mr. Joe Friday, I'm sorry. Joe Barnes been watching Dragnet. <laughs> Man, this is a good class here, horse. Hey, it was fun. I'm telling you, Jerry, I saw very few classes this week, or very few horses, matter of fact, that just wasn't right in there. And I'm talking about the flat shot, performance, the youth classes, a bunch of just real good horses. You know, Ed, um, you was talking about last week on the show about these horses showing two times a night that call you, call my lawyer, yeah. show both nights. Yep. Well, that, that just goes to show the, these horses are in condi pristine condition, oh, really. Yeah. Aren't you glad 
all your customers aren't as picky as me. <laughs> I tell you what, now it was. But look there. Yeah. There, Joe Pa. The Char Queen, and now I'm gonna tell you, Beth put on a couple of great shows. Yes. I mean, she did. She showed two outstanding horses. Outstanding horses. She showed the Char Queen and quite an honor. And I mean, both of them looked outstanding. And, her, and then her daughter, all of them, oh, yeah. everything they showed looked good this weekend. No doubt about it. And I think we're going to go to, let me check and see. Oh, uh, well, I know what we're going to do. We'll be right back after these <laughs> messages. <laughs> Can't believe you're doing this alone. I've done it before. I remember. You threw your back out. <laughs> How you holding up? Hand me that board. Nothing wrong with getting help. I'm good. I did it when Felicia left. I'll figure it out. I know you will. But you don't have to do it alone. That's all I'm saying. If I promise to look into it, will you drop it and help me build this fence? <laughs> now you need my help. You can be a real pain sometimes, you know? Mm -hmm. If you or a veteran you know needs support, don't wait. Reach out. Find resources at va.gov reach. The Mona Dean family is proud to announce that the multi-time world champion and world grand champion minor ordeal is now available for breeding at Sugar Creek Breeding Facility for the 2023 spring breeding season. Minor ordeal. Minor Ordeal has proven year after year that he is one of the elite champions of all time winning five World Grand Championships, one World Grand Championship, and the Reserve World Grand Championship as well. Minor Ordeal, a major win here in the two-year-old division, our World Grand Champion. Make the call to breed to a true champion, Minor Ordeal. competition, four times amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dowell at Fantasy Farm in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 for breeding information. An estimated 11 million Americans have heart valve disease, but most of us know little to nothing about it. People can be born with valve problems, or they can develop from cardiovascular disease, infections, certain cancer treatments, and age, with older adults at the highest risk. If diagnosed early, it can usually be successfully treated, no matter what your age. Valve disease can cause a number of symptoms, including lightheadedness, irregular heartbeat, shortness of breath, tiredness, swelling of the ankles and feet, and not feeling like yourself in general but is often only detected when your heart is listened to by a healthcare professional. So listen to your heart. See your healthcare professional. Discuss your risk factors and any potential symptoms and go to valvediseaseday.org to learn more. More of What a Horse coming up. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
Alrighty. Well, things got hot on Friday night, and they just got hotter come Saturday night. Yep. And they kicked off the, the second, I believe, the second class Friday night, the eleven and under. That's always, that, that is a tough class no matter who is in it. So we are loaded. But there's Dixie Rita. The Ann Bell, she, she's a good rider. Yeah. It's the medalist and Eli Cunningham took the blue. Dixie Rita and Aaliyah Bell was reserved. Southern Attitude. Levi Parker and Tito's. Carolyn Stanley finished out the ribbons. But right there is Eli. He, I tell you, he, he sets up there and goes and gets it. All these youth classes are is real big classes. I mean, this is where they're tough. Horses, they're tough. Bunch of good horses. They, they, they had, I think the 11 under had four, the pony had four. And you know that that's a good sized class. Oh yeah, for kids. Now some of the open classes got way on up there. That young lady right there knows how to ride. Yeah. Leah Ann. You know you can tell how well trained these horses is because you know all them kids in that class is 11 years old and handling them horses and them horses weigh anywhere from 900 to 1500 pounds. That's there. right. Yeah. And the horses going around that ring, going. I've had that conversation with a lot of people that they just find it so hard to believe that the, that the Tennessee walking horse can be like that around kids. But I'm telling you, they somehow they adjust. Yes. Uh, and it and it's completely different with kids and adults. The other thing you can watch these horses, each one of the horses got a different way of going, different mm -hmm. gait that they have, different way of carrying itself. <clears throat> well, they, they have a, a timing, if you watch them, their timing yes. is, is it's not all the, all the same. Some of them have a quicker step, yep. but they'll also have a faster head shake. Yes. Right here's the medalist in Eli Cunningham for Wilson and Cunningham. That's a real nice horse. Yes, he is. I tell you what, his his granddad watched, oh, yeah. loves watching him show. Eli's mom was a real good rider. She won a bunch. Oh, I heard yeah. that. I heard that she could really ride yeah, a horse. She, she can. Right here's your Park Performance Riders Cup, and this, this to me was outstanding class. It yes. was packed full of good ones. Mayor Bill and Dan Waddell took the blue for George and Kim Lewis. Drop a line. That's a real good horse from yeah. Fidble. R.M. Kelly in the saddle. And that, that's for Gay Dipsy. Kick it to the moon. Chris Zan was third. Cut above Dixie. Niff Plapkin. Old Charlie. Jonathan Baskin. And Hero Splash of Gray. Keegan Meadows finished out the ribbon. But I'm going to tell you, I'll tell anybody, Mayor Bill, going to be hard to beat. Yeah. He really is. He is a, he is a, I'm going to say, he is a, uh, a championship horse. And I'm talking about world grand yeah. championship caliber horse for the top honor in the, the walking horse industry that's in the park performance class. Because he has won a bunch of state classes. So you can say that he has won state class. Oh yeah. Uh, that now he's in the park performance class. Uh -huh. That's a nice horse right there. Hey, it's packed. I'm telling you, that's it. Drop a line. Yeah. And there's Mayor Bill. There he is. 
Mayor Bill and Dan Waddell for George and Kim Lewis. It done. A heck of a horse right there. Here's your amateur 15 2 and under class. A kingpin and Bob Adcock took the blue. Top shelf toddy. I like that name. Yeah. <laughs> And Sherry Pollock was reserved the Comanche and Pam Russell. Hardy, Lucky Collins, Jens, I can't say that acclimate. And Bart McWaters was fifth. Back in black, Molly Turner and JFK specialist Keely McGee. Tell you what, that kingpin was dead. Oh, yeah, he was. He dead looked now. good. He looked good. Bob, he really, he enjoyed riding them horses, too. I mean, he was. Oh, he loves it. Yeah. You know, his whole family, his, his daughter, she is a great rider. Yes. And she is. Look at that. Yeah, that horse is looking good right there. And white stockings shows how deep yeah. he gets. As again, you look at these horses, you can have them from young to showing them and to up in age showing them. I know it. And do it real well. Our, our youngest world grand champion was three, and our oldest world grand champion was 91. <laughs> there he is, a kingpin and Bob Adcock, your 15 to and under winner. He put on a show. Oh, yes, he did. Here's your youth, 12 to 17. I tell you what. This is a good class. Outstanding. Makes adults glad that they're as old as they are and they can't show any classes. Super Bowl MVP and B.B. Beasley took the blue. Jose the champ and Cole McCormick was reserved. Jose is Ritzy Hawk. Emma Black. Dale Soul. Henley Johnson and national hero Dylan Jackson finished out the ribbons. Tell you what, I'd hate to show against them. Oh yeah. I remember one time George Ann Pratt and I were talking and this was when Dahlia Smith was still in the 17 and under. Yeah. And <laughs> George Ann turned around and looked at me and she said, yeah, but Jerry, next year she's going to be showing against us. Yes. You need to listen to the cheers when these kids come in. I mean, everybody get behind them. Well, they got them all over the place, but they seem to me like they're cheering for all of them. Yeah. These kids, when you look at their horses and, and how they're riding, I mean, it's just unreal. A Super Bowl MVP. That's a nice horse. He's been a nice horse for a long time. 
I'll tell you what, you it's hard to beat this, and it yeah. really is. And Bebe, I'm telling you what now, she just goes and gets it. Right here's your three-year-old Marin Gildan Ryder Cup. The winner of this class is right now standing at 11 and 1. Right there she is. Yeah. Jimmer's Country Girl. And Josh Watts took the blue for Carol Baxter. Boom Chicka Boom. And Sam Martin was reserved for Bob Medina. She's naughty but nice. R.M. Kelly. Wicked Jen. Chad Way. Oh, my black Betty, Dan Waddell. Viva Tequila, Knox Blackburn. Honoring Miss Texas, Bill Calloway. And Miss Della Rose, Philip Tremble finished out the ribbons. I like that name, Miss Della Rose. Watch, there's a lot of good horses, oh, in, this good horses in this class. A lot of good ones in this class. I think this one had, what, 12? Yeah. I believe it's 12 or 13. But now, that Jimmer's Country Girl? Yeah. That's a good horse. She is a good mare. A real good horse. You know, Carol showed that horse, too. Yeah. She's the one on him. People knew that the classes were going to be like oh, it yeah. was. I believe it'd be a whole lot more people, people in the stands. That's right. There she is, Jimmer's country girl and Josh Watts for Carol Baxter. Your three-year-old Marion Gildan Ryder Cup winner. That's a good horse. Oh, yeah. And this this class right here wasn't no slouch. Megan Davis, all she did, or Megan Hammond now, yeah. all she did was change mounts. Yeah. <laughs> she didn't take a step back for nothing. Your amateur five-year-old stallions, Black Gen Scout, and Megan Hammond took the blue for Shamrock Farms. The jurist, Jeff Smith, was reserved and honored in Texas, Bob Adcock. I am Gunsmoke, Bart McWaters, Mossberg, Randy Stone, and he's Dixie River, Bonnie Sullivan finished out the ribbons. But when you can lock and load and just get under another horse like Megan did, yeah, you, you're doing good. And she was in there in some pretty stiff competition. Yep, it was. You know, she sets a horse real well. I got black gen scout now. Oh yeah. I like Harder in Texas. I think he's a tough horse. There's just a bunch of good ones in there. Yeah, a bunch of good ones in there, yeah. 
Well, that's what you want. Scout and Megan Hammond for Shamrock Farm, your amateur five-year-old stallion winner. Hey, what, boy, she can set a saddle. Oh, yeah. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. If you got a good one, set the saddle and get it done. You're right. I tell you what, I'm, I am a tickle with the show. It was, really am a, it was a real good one. Yeah. They had a good competition. Next week we'll show some of the flat shot classes. Yeah. Because they had some outstanding flat shot classes. I mean some good ones. I guess I do want to uh, remind everybody that there's a show this weekend up in East Tennessee you can call Bill Daltrey. It is the T East Tennessee Spring Fling. Bill's number is 423 Eight three six three six zero seven. Judge Cindy Bryant, Amber Zan, and Gary Wayne Smith will mark yep. the cards. They will have a good show. They have a good show. Now yeah. they will. They normally do. Bill knows how to put on one. Next weekend we got two big shows in Shelville: a racking horse and a walking horse. Oh, yeah. And then uh, May thirteenth. I'm looking forward to it. Now, I really am. I'm looking forward to that first time to show class. I'm wanting to see how many kids that have not shown will get out there in the first time to show. Well, and, and have you showed already this year? This is the first year and you can still show in that class, right? Is this your first year of showing a horse? I hope so. Come, yeah. You can still show in that class. I'll, I'll have to ask Marcy now, yeah. but, uh, but I don't see why not because this is the first year. The first year. Yeah, first year uh, showing. It's kind of like when you, you enter a novelty class and you win the first night of the celebration yeah. and then they have the novelty championship. Yeah. So I'd say I'd say I don't see nothing wrong yeah. with it, but mm -hmm. I'll have to ask Francis and Marcy because they're the ones gonna say yay, nay, no, yeah. you not Because that that was one of the questions I had because we got some that want to show in the flat shot class and some that want to show in the Pattern. Yes. So, mm -hmm. my way of looking at this is your first year. Year. Yeah. Get out there and get with it. Yeah. And hurry up. You've been talking to Jacqueline Way. No. Because <laughs> <laughs> I know Jacqueline. Jacqueline wants her water showing every glass that's again. Yeah. I don't blame her. That's right. I do this not is blame first year showing. All. I mean, it should be able to to show in it. You it know. should. You're right. All right. We'll see everybody again next week. When if I can get Jerry back over here. Yes, now, sir. Then. Y'all have a good weekend. Same here. Yeah, have a good weekend. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left. Hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat. So they say, I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.